Hi guys, Hydro here from Hydro Gaming. Uh, today I read an interesting rumor, a very interesting rumor actually. Um, now you don't, I don't normally pay attention much to Nintendo in general. I honestly haven't been interested in a Nintendo home console since uh, the Nintendo 64 when I was a teenager. But Nintendo has continued to dominate in the handheld market, basically uncontested since the original Game Boy, Sega, Atari, Sony, they all tried and they all fell flat. But the Nintendo home consoles have been lackluster at best with overpriced and underpowered hardware, coupled with barely existent third-party support. It's a little better on the Switch, but in my opinion, not good enough to justify the $400 price tag in Canada for a console that, if I owned it, would largely sit there collecting dust. Until now, um, it seems like Microsoft may have teamed up with Nintendo to provide first an Xbox Live app, which on the Switch, which wasn't that big of a deal. It, it's... I don't think it's any different than the app you have on your phone. At least you'll be able to use chat and everything right on the Switch, which is not currently possible with Nintendo's joke of an online service. Uh, you actually need to have a cell phone to use to party up with people and to chat with people while you're playing games, and that's just ridiculous. So Xbox Live, uh, in theory, would provide chat support directly on the Switch, which, which in itself is very good. But now, I've seen an article here, and it drops a pretty big bomb, uh, a terrific fuzzy-feeling bomb that has me actually considering that maybe I'd like to buy a Switch in the future, if it's true, and if it works well. I'm, uh, I have an article here from Tech Radar. Uh, now, this is a rumor, and it should be taken with a grain of salt until some sort of official yay or nay is, is reported. But for now, it looks like Game Pass may also be coming to the Switch. For those who don't know, Game Pass is a subscription service from Microsoft that offers access to not only 100 games ranging from the OG Xbox era to current generation. You also get unrestricted access to Microsoft first-party games, like uh, uh, most recently would have been Crackdown 3. Um, before that was Forza Horizon 4, uh, Halo 5, um, all the Gears of Wars games, things like that. It's really good if you if you like Microsoft ex exclusives, and you get these games immediately upon release. Uh, obviously, there will most likely be caveats here. Uh, the Switch is still underpowered and won't be able to run a majority of games currently available on Game Pass. Uh, if we take Game Pass on PC currently in its current form as an indication, only Microsoft titles are available on that version. Um, but anyways, I don't really want to speculate too much of what Game Pass on the Switch will look like. For now, I'm just excited that there's a possibility that it may exist. Uh, I wouldn't run out and buy a Switch just yet if you don't own one. But this is definitely something you want to keep an eye on. Um, like If we just look at the article here, uh, recent rumors from the YouTube channel Direct Feed Games suggest that Xbox Game Pass could be coming to the Nintendo Switch. We've seen Microsoft and Nintendo increasingly cozy up over the past year or so as the Switch console continues selling millions per year and both parties see the business sense of a cross-party collaboration in play. Uh, they recently reported on Xbox plans to bring Xbox Live service to the mobile devices and Nintendo's console, which I've already touched on, with a mind to incorporate Xbox Live's suite of gaming achievements, achievements on the Switch, that would be fucking awesome, matchmaking, social systems, and more in their games and devices. And I can understand from both perspectives why that Nintendo, uh, Nintendo does not have much experience in, in developing an online community. They've tried in a few different ways, but in true Nintendo style, they always feel like they need to invent the wheel or reinvent the wheel with everything they do. So they shoot for the moon and it falls flat. So... For Nintendo, this will bring them uh, arguably the best online service in gaming today. It, the, the UI is great. Uh, everything integrates and works well across all the different platforms that I've used the Xbox app on. So it, it takes the work away from Nintendo because Xbox Live, I don't care what anyone says, Xbox Live is better than... Uh, PlayStation Network. And PlayStation Network has gotten a lot better, but Microsoft is king 
in providing a great user experience. If Nintendo can take that, <coughs> that that's a game changer for Nintendo. Let, let's be honest. That's 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 huge. huge. Uh, how does Microsoft benefit from this? Well, Microsoft obviously um, they get their software out to more people. They get their games out to more people. Uh, more people will, would be paying for the subscription service. And I never thought of Nintendo as being a competitor, really. Uh, most people who own a Switch that I know also own either a PlayStation 4, an Xbox One, or a gaming PC. The Switch is not good as a primary console unless you really, really, really like Nintendo games and, and indie games. It's a secondary console. It's like the 3DS. I don't know many people who only own a 3DS. They also own something else. So let's keep an eye on this and see where it goes. Uh, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please kick, click like down below or maybe even subscribe so you can see when I release more videos. Uh, I put some links in the description below. If you'd like to join me on Facebook or Twitter, <laughs> I'm currently still learning how to exactly to tweet, but I'll get there. DGIF and enjoy your weekend.